Well, what I have here is a crack on my screen. Basically, I went to turn the laptop. Instead of grabbing both sides and turning it like this, I had grabbed it from the top and gave it a twist, and that's what caused the crack. This is a fairly simple project. Okay, I have a magnet here to keep track of my screws that I take off. Um, a, a large Phillips screwdriver, small flat edge, a small Phillips screwdriver, exacto knife, and tweezers. And first thing you need to do is unlock your battery and uh, remove it. That way you won't cause any electronical damage to it while you're working on replacing the screen. On the bottom left of the screen and on the bottom right of the screen you'll see there's two little round circles and they are merely just stickers that cover the heads of some Phillips screws. I'll stick it right on there and, uh, and I'll do the other one over here. Okay, so once that's done, hit your screwdriver and take the screws out. I keep track of my screws with a magnetic bar. I'll put them in order the same way I take them out. There we go. Here's the part that most people are afraid to do, and it's removing the plastic border or the bezel around the screen. And what you need to do is you need to just, with your fingers, your fingernails, just grab the edge and pull it towards you. You'll hear some snapping noises. Don't pull too hard because you can crack it. But if you hear a little snapping noise, that's normal. And it will come off fairly easy in one nice piece. I'm not blocking the camera here. There we go. That's simple. Come right off. Nice and easy. There should be three screws on each side of the screen. They're small little black screws. You'll see them. One on the bottom, one on the top, and one in the middle here. And they should not be tight. They should just be snug. You don't want to over tighten them when you put this back together. Okay, so I removed all the, all the screws, um, three from the left side and three from the uh, right side. Okay, make sure you hold the screen with your thumb here and hold it with the other hand. Or just make sure it doesn't fall out because sometimes there's a piece of tape up here where the camera is and the tape holds the wire to the back of the screen. Um, in this case, it's not. It's actually in the back of the laptop. That's good. And it looks like it's a LED screen because there's only one wire going across here and going in. If this was an, an LCD screen, you would have had two separate power lines going in that would illuminate uh, two separate fluorescent tubes in here. But this is definitely an LED uh, flat screen. What we have here now is the ribbon cable connected to the circuit board and you're going to be very careful there's a small piece of clear tape on here we have to remove without damaging the ribbon cable or the circuit board so I'll get my I'll get my flat edge blade here on my screwdriver since I won't risk cutting anything with it hopefully I can get that off of there and uh, we'll see here maybe I will use it exacto knife because it might have to get the slight edge on it but just be very careful not to cut anything there we go all right I had to I ended up cutting some of that clear plastic but uh, since this is an old screen and this old plastic don't mean anything but I had a very difficult time trying to disconnect it without doing any damage and I successfully did that very very sticky I and mean, it's almost like uh, I got the new screen right here and it's still still in the plastic so I should take that off and it's the same it's the same part as uh, the same specs 
and the same connections on it so we are in good shape so what I'll do is set it back in the same position as the one I took off and put everything back together in the same order that I took everything apart okay now it's uh, it's very important that we get this connector on nice and tight uh, and since I destroyed the tape completely taking taking it off of the broken LED screen I had to find myself some industrial grade uh, packing tape and I hope this will do the job I pu I'll put it on the ribbon cable part first and pull it towards me to put a little tension on the contacts and press it down and that should do the trick there we go and we'll see how this works out in a minute I got the battery in uh, I didn't finish putting it all together uh, but I wanted to make sure the cable connected perfectly well and it did and the new replacement screen is working perfectly as it should here it is new screen installed and it works perfectly well no problem in a few minutes you can do the same thing and, uh, and that's it